Thursday morning. While working on her term paper, Anna has come to realize that in general, the sentences she likes and finds intelligent have always been written by someone else. And now, Anna has just come across a very nice quotation. And she's reminded of how unfair it is that it's always the same people who have the good ideas. Bon, Jules, je t'explique le jeu. Là, on a une phrase de Jacques Monod. Faut la transformer, garder son idée, mais faire croire que c'est la mienne. Mmh, mmh. Ça, c'est ce qu'on appelle faire du plagiat. Hein. Ah. Bon, déjà, il, il est connu, là, ton Jacques Monod Bah, il est euh, prix Nobel de médecine, en fait. Oui, quand même. Ouais. Bon, écoute, on n'a pas le choix. On va faire du mot pour mot. Moi, j'appelle ça faire de la traduction français. Français. C'est bien, ça non, c'est pas bien. Je pense qu'on peut faire mieux. On va encore des salades. Hein. Pas mal. Bon, on change. C'est bien Non, c'est nul. Humain, ça va pas. T'es pas très fort en mots, en fait, toi. Ah, pardon. Il faut un synonyme de d'adversaire. Des rivales. <rire> bah, C'était presque ça. Non. Ouais Pas très fin. Non, c'est juste. Trois heures plus tard. <rire> c'est bien, ça. Ça, c'est la classe. Ouais, ça claque. C'est... Euh, C'était quoi la, la, la phrase originale Alors, dominant désormais son environnement, l'homme n'avait plus devant soi d'adversaire sérieux que lui-même. Ah, yes, the temptation can be great not to render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. But you're not going to succumb to the temptation, Anna. You're going to resist copying and pasting. As you know, all academic work rests on and takes its inspiration from existing sources. It never appears ex nihilo, out of nothing. To construct your argument, you will have to build on existing work. Your work has to both integrate the ideas of the researchers who have gone before you and include your own ideas. Keep in mind that this is not a simple exercise of copying and pasting. Reformulating and rewriting form an integral part of a student's work. That is how science moves forward, advances and grows. It can only be built on the basis of the principles of integrity and intellectual honesty. Remember that your paper will be read by others. You have to give them a way to clearly distinguish your work from what you have borrowed from others. That is why, when you write a paper in which you incorporate ideas, passages or illustrations that are not your own, you absolutely must cite your sources. Otherwise, you could find yourself committing an act of plagiarism. Some advice on how to construct your own arguments while incorporating the ideas of others. Systematically note down the complete references for sources as soon as you have found them. You can do this by using reference management software if you wish. Reformulate the words of an author, explicitly stating that you have borrowed the idea. Choose your sources carefully. Your paper will be more favorably evaluated if you're able to find and cite relevant, varied and high-quality sources. Bon, alors Anna, t'as compris Les mots appartiennent à leur auteur, les idées c'est pareil, elles appartiennent à leur inventeur. Ouais, ok. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on peut pomper alors Bah rien, à part peut-être les roulements vélo. Ah, t'as retrouvé ton vélo Trop cool 